Welcome to Bright Minds Station, the place where imagination meets prehistoric power. Today, we're diving into an epic showdown between two of the most powerful predators to ever walk the Earth. In one corner, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, known as the king of the dinosaurs with its massive bite and strong build. In the other corner, we have the Spinosaurus, a giant with a sail-like spine and deadly claws, perfectly adapted for life in water. Who would win if these two titans faced off in battle? Get ready for an action-packed journey through history as we compare their strength, speed, and survival skills. If you enjoy dinosaur battles and want to learn more about the ancient world, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Bright Mind Station, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new episode. Let the battle begin! Dino Profiles T-Rex and Spinosaurus compared! To understand this epic clash, we first need to know who these contenders really were. The Tyrannosaurus Rex lived around 68 to 66 million years ago in what is now North America. It was a giant, land-walking predator that stretched up to 40 feet in length, stood about 12 feet tall at the hips, and weighed as much as 9 tons. This dinosaur was built like a tank, with massive jaws and a strong frame built for hunting. Meanwhile, the Spinosaurus lived earlier, between 112 to 93 million years ago, in North Africa. Unlike T-Rex, it was even longer, reaching up to 50 feet and weighing possibly as much as 20 tons. Spinosaurus also had adaptations for life in the water, making it the largest known carnivorous dinosaur in history. Although they never actually met, comparing them is a fascinating glimpse into how evolution created two very different, but equally terrifying, predators. Bite Power and Dental Weapons When it comes to bite force, T-Rex is in a league of its own. Its bite was one of the most powerful of any land animal ever, with a force estimated at around 12,800 pounds per square inch. Its teeth were thick, sharply serrated, and designed to crush bone and rip through tough muscle and sinew. Spinosaurus, on the other hand, had a bite force of around 4,200 psi. While still impressive, its teeth were more slender and conical, shaped more for gripping slippery prey like fish than crushing bone. Its jaw was better suited for aquatic hunting rather than battling large land animals. In terms of sheer jaw strength and lethal efficiency on land, T-Rex easily takes the edge. Brain power and sensory superiority Beyond brute force, intelligence and sensory ability also play a major role in any predator's success. T-Rex had a relatively large brain for its size, and its forward-facing eyes provided it with strong binocular vision, essential for tracking prey and judging distances. It also had an exceptional sense of smell thanks to a large olfactory bulb which allowed it to locate prey over long distances or scavenge effectively. Spinosaurus had a smaller brain in comparison, and its sensory capabilities were less developed for land-based hunting. However, some paleontologists believe it had pressure-sensitive receptors in its snout to detect movement in water, making it well-suited for aquatic ambushes. Still, in terms of brain power and all-around sensory skill, T-Rex appears to have held a considerable advantage. Skull Design and Battle Mechanics When it comes to head-to-head -head combat, the design of the skull plays a huge role in how each dinosaur would fight. The T-Rex had a short, wide, and extremely reinforced skull, acting like a natural battering ram. Its thick bones and deep jaw muscles allowed it to withstand and deliver incredible forces during biting and shaking. This skull wasn't just for chomping, it was built to crush and destroy with brute power. The Spinosaurus, however, had a long, narrow skull similar to that of a crocodile. This shape was perfect for snatching fish and swift prey in the water, but much more fragile when it came to high-impact combat. While it may have had a faster bite due to its slender jaw, it couldn't withstand the kind of stress a T-Rex skull could. In a direct, skull-to-skull -skull collision, the T-Rex's heavy, durable head structure would almost certainly overpower the more delicate build of Spinosaurus. Speed and movement on land and water Speed and mobility can turn the tide in any predator showdown. T-Rex was a fully land-based animal with powerful legs capable of reaching running speeds of up to 17 miles per hour. While it wasn't the fastest dinosaur, it had enough speed and stamina to chase down slower prey. Spinosaurus, by contrast, was built for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Its long, crocodile-like body and paddle-like tail helped it glide through water with ease, but these same features made it slow and clumsy on land. In a purely land-based scenario, T-Rex's speed and mobility would give it a significant edge. 
In water, however, Spinosaurus would dominate, making this battle highly dependent on location, body structure, and defense. Defense is just as important as offense in any clash of titans. T-Rex had a stocky, muscular build with incredibly thick bones, a massive skull, and reinforced vertebrae that helped it absorb impact and deliver crushing blows. Its body was built to endure and inflict damage in high-intensity battles. Spinosaurus had a longer, leaner frame with an unusual sail on its back. The function of the sail is still debated. It may have helped with thermoregulation, mating displays, or fat storage, but it likely added no real combat advantage. In terms of physical durability and defensive features, T-Rex was better suited for direct confrontation and could take more punishment in a brawl. Arms, claws, and close combat tactics. The arms of these two predators were very different in both size and function. T-Rex is famously known for its tiny arms, but don't be fooled. They were incredibly strong and could lift over 400 pounds each. They were likely used in mating or to help it rise from the ground, but not much in battle. Spinosaurus had much longer forelimbs with three sharp claws on each hand, potentially useful for slashing or grabbing prey. In a close quarters fight, Spinosaurus could theoretically land hits with its claws. However, T-Rex would likely respond with its jaws, which remained its most dangerous weapon. While Spinosaurus had more reach with its limbs, T-Rex had the ultimate killing bite, habitats, and hunting grounds. Where these dinosaurs lived tells us a lot about their behavior and lifestyle. T-Rex roamed lush forests and river valleys in North America, preying on large herbivores like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. It was an apex predator, well adapted to land hunting and possibly scavenging. Spinosaurus, in contrast, lived in the wetlands and river systems of North Africa. Its body was adapted to life near water. It likely hunted large fish and aquatic prey, and may have even waded or swam to ambush its meals. These vastly different environments meant that their survival strategies were built for entirely different challenges. T-Rex ruled the land, while Spinosaurus was king of the rivers. The hypothetical showdown, land versus water. So, who would win if these two giants ever met face to face? On solid ground, T-Rex would likely dominate the battle with its superior strength, bone-crushing bite, agility, and defensive build. Its predatory instincts and land-based advantages make it a fearsome opponent in a terrestrial fight. In contrast, if the battlefield was a river or swamp, Spinosaurus could exploit its swimming skills and aquatic agility. Its long body and claws might allow it to maneuver better in water, while the less water-adapted T-Rex would be at a disadvantage. The outcome depends heavily on the environment, with each dinosaur excelling in its own natural habitat. Final Thoughts Both T-Rex and Spinosaurus were apex predators that thrived in completely different worlds. T-Rex, with its unmatched bite and keen senses, was a master of the land. Spinosaurus, with its unique aquatic adaptations, ruled the rivers of ancient Africa. Their differences show us how evolution creates specialized tools for survival and how being the best often depends on where and how you live. In the end, it's not about which dinosaur was stronger, it's about how each was perfectly adapted to its own environment. Studying them helps us understand the amazing variety of life that once roamed our planet. If you enjoyed this dino duel, don't forget to hit that like button to show your support. Subscribe to Bright Mind Station for more prehistoric battles, science fun, and wild facts from the past. And ring that bell so you never miss the next ancient adventure. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep learning, keep exploring, and stay curious!